When you create a new track, in the edit window you see a default empty playlist that you can use for importing and recording. Creating a new playlist allows you to work on a single track while maintaining the previous track material. For example, you could use playlists to keep multiple takes of a recording to choose from later on. Each track only plays one playlist at a time. To create a new playlist, navigate to the playlist selector arrow next to the track name in the edit window. Select new and then name your playlist. You can rename the playlist when it's selected by double clicking on the track name. You'll notice that the playlist selector turns purple when the track has additional playlists. You can change between playlists at any time by selecting the playlist in the playlist selector menu. You'll notice the track name change as you change playlists. Now you can record multiple takes to playlists on the same track, which helps keep your session organized and tidy. There's options for duplicating a playlist, which is exactly what it sounds like, and once you have more than one playlist, you can delete them as well by selecting Delete Unused. When you select Delete Unused, a window will pop up showing all playlists not currently selected in the edit window. Select the playlist you want to delete. Hold Shift to select a series, or hold Command to select multiple playlists and then click Delete. You can also create playlists for any groups you have. Just make sure your group is selected in the Groups window and create a playlist for any track within that group. All tracks in your group will now have an additional playlist. This is great for recording multiple takes of more than one input source, like drum kits. Each new playlist in a group is assigned a suffix relative to the playlist order, and as long as you keep the group setting activated, you can change playlists across all tracks simultaneously. For editing using playlists, please see my other videos.